This is April Shaltise, using the computer to generate this message. My brother, Rendell Barry Shaltise, is dead. My brother, Todd Perry Shaltise, is dead. My niece, Celeste Shaltise Conway, is dead. All dead. They want me dead, too. Immoral people, today, are still using genocide for gain and amusement. I am a victim of genocide. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. They don't need a reason. But I am an unmarried virgin past 50. I survived multiple murder attempts, so they are calling me a botched kill. They don't want me to have any more birthdays. They used COVID as an excuse to take away my job, my health insurance, my phone, my internet. They blocked my 403B money and my retirement. They cut my power. They also attacked my vehicles. They are still after my cars. The vehicles are old. One is nearly 20 years old, and the other is nearly 23. But they disabled one car last year, and another one this week, this week, the same week they tried yet again to tow the other one again, both cars attacked, in the same week, this is not a coincidence, my birthday is June 21st, today is June 18th, they don't want me to make it to my next birthday, this is Rome, and Rome wants you to die in the arena, Rome is still here, Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. Never, never forget, never. The scriptures say, and it came to pass, that in the morning watch the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud, and troubled the host of the Egyptians, and took off their chariot wheels, that they drave them heavily, so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians.